Oh, no. Don't do that, folks. Whatever happens, don't do that. I'm a DIYer. I like to do my own stuff. And today, I'm gonna hang my own window treatments. Hopefully, I won't damage the walls and ruin my bedroom. This is my bedroom. The window we're doing is right here, so let's get started. Oh, my word. The rule of thumb is generally go higher than the window and wider than the window so that the whole setting appears larger. I could bring a ladder up here and move this couch, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna stand on the couch that Martha Stewart made for me. Thanks, Martha. <laughs> the way that this came, it didn't give real good instructions on how to get the third pole in the center. This is a huge issue, so I'm gonna reverse it and show you how I did it because I had to sit here for 20 minutes to figure it out. So when it came, this big fat daddy did not have a screw in it. So I was like, what's going on? So you just take this out. Look, it doesn't have a head on the end of it, so it's easy to take it out and then stick it in. So originally this is how it came. This little guy had it. And I was like doing this whole thing, like it doesn't fit. Like, did they give me the wrong pieces? I don't understand. The first thing is we're gonna mark the holes on these on either side. Do you like to do, do it yourself? yourself? Let's go ahead and do the drywall anchors. Oh no. Houston, I have a problem. It appears there's a stud there, which I was not expecting to find. So now I have a giant hole in the wall. So I'm gonna try to just use the stud without the anchor and this screw. That ain't gonna fly, guys. <laughs> But where there's a problem, there's always a solution. So the obstacle is the way, right? All right, so now I gotta find a screw that's longer than this that will still fit through this hole. And then I'm just gonna paint over it because it doesn't match. Can you push against <laughs> me or something? I don't have the strength. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Our curse has turned into our blessing because I don't need to put the anchors in, just the scraps. We are going to screw the screws in first without the annoying arm in the way. Oh man, this one I can barely even get to. Oh no! <laughs> oh, look what I did. Oh my god. Did you do it? Oh, no, not yet. See, you're making progress. It's it's an absolute millimeter every minute, but still. <laughs> I don't think that's noticeable, especially if you paint it. Oh, really? Yeah. No one will notice the screw no, sticking out of the No, because you have a bar wall. right here. You're not going to be able to see back there. It's like Christmas in October. <laughs> They're all tangled up. Well, you just did a Christmas in October dance. Yoga booty ballet. <laughs> We're gonna make this work, people. We're gonna make this work. Righty tighty. Oh. I think we're good. This is not a sponsor segment. <laughs> I like to space them, you know, a good eight inches apart or so. Oh, oh. They are up. Uh, I can still see that screw that Ryan said no one would notice. Now I'll have a little bit of shade from the sun, although my husband will complain that it's not enough, so. I like the style of that rod. I just I just really enjoy the whole thing. Good, I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, Let's never do that again. Okay. So, subscribe. Yes, and if you actually click on the little bell, you will receive email notifications that lets you know that we've just uploaded a new video. Yes, sir. And press like, please, because it helps build our egos up. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time.